quick disclaimer before we get into this trigger warnings for talks of anxiety, depression, unaliving, unaliving tendencies, and general chaos. Please proceed to this video with caution and hope you enjoy. Yeah, no, this year I was at the lowest ever, ever. Mm. And honestly, just really proud of myself for, first of all, being able to pull myself out from where I was at because yeah. it was very much a, I want to unalive situation and we're not there anymore just not what not what we're doing yes the world is burning yes things are gonna sh yes we're in a recession yes we're in a depression <laughs> yes and i have you state of depression um uh, but life's really really <laughs> short and i'm i can't wait for that motivation. I can't wait for things to fall into place. I can't keep waiting for these things to happen because if I keep waiting, then that's all I'm gonna be doing. Yeah. I'm unemployed, still have a decent amount of savings because when I was younger, I've made better financial decisions. And I just wanna travel in 2023. I want to hang out with my cousins. I want to make memories. I want to document things. I want to make things. Yeah. I want to hang out with my friends and just, you know, I have always had a very difficult time with expression, expression, <laughs> expressing my feelings. Yeah. Just in general, like I don't use the L word often. Uh, and it was between me going to the emergency room, having to call her to be like, hey, knew we were supposed to do something, but actually on my way to the ER right now, uh, love you though. <laughs> yeah, and legit, the thing is like, I'm a very go with the flow kind of person in every aspect of life. So she was like, hey, so we're going to the ER and I was like, cool, I'll meet you there. What stop do I get off at? Like. Yeah. Sounds good to listen. We're still yeah. hanging out. So urgent care, ER, two different stories, just for clarification. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, I was at my lowest point this year. Yeah. Like no one's ever seen me at that point. Not that I've not been there before. Unfortunately I have, but it was at a different time in my life where I was so busy that I had other things to distract myself now not having a traditional job or something like that to hold me accountable to keep just pushing my actual feelings aside i had the opportunity this year to reflect feel yeah not even reflect just to feel everything could never be me and i mean it wasn't me yeah. like you know i had such a disconnect emotional unavailability was sh should be yeah. my descriptor when i meet people because I'd like to think that I'm a very emotionally intelligent person, but once it comes to me dealing with my own emotions, it just wasn't something that mm. I did. Um, I think this might just be a separate part of this update, yeah. but honestly, it's only been a couple months so far, but therapy has done wonders for me. And it's not like it's introduced new things to me. It's just, it's just validated a lot of the things that I already knew and I just needed someone to be like, yes, dude. I mean, you have done that for me, but it definitely is different when you have a professional being like, you are professional in different aspects, but it just hit a lot different than I yeah. thought it was going to. And being actually diagnosed formally just makes things a little more manageable, although it was extremely overwhelming at first. Just learning to live with that and <laughs> honestly feeling sort of that freedom where I, I'm not gonna allow these things to hold me back from the experiences that I want. Mm. And there's a lot of things that I fear now because I have that extra anxiety in the back of my head where I'm like, now you know you're anxious now you know that you go through these lists of possibilities that could potentially harm or hurt you. Like concerts, for example. That feeling of being 
almost suffocated in the Dreamcatcher concert, I've had to like compartmentalize and be like, it was an amazing show. That was just an unfortunate accident that I had to go through. Yeah. And it's not gonna happen to at, at every other large scale event that I attend, but that anxiety is still there. Cause now I have an association with panic attacks and concerts. Yeah. The brain is smart, but it's also stupid. Yeah. But it's fine because now I have a new hyperfixation and my energy is completely on that. And honestly, it's what's getting me through the days. And I don't, it's what's getting me through the days. And that's what makes me the happiest right now. So yeah, yeah not everything has to be long-term solutions, but if it makes you happy in that moment and it's healthy and not putting your life in danger, by all means indulge. Um, but yeah. What an update. What a recap. I know. And we have no idea what 2023 is in store. But if it doesn't involve money and me getting a lot of it. I'm and new excited. tattoos and new travels. I yeah. don't want it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's some very big life changes coming in January for me as well. So it's going to be, it's going to start off strong. To say the least. <laughs> um. But yeah, coping with identity and new identities and certain labels and just... And old identities. Yeah, this is fair. And kind of detaching yourself from old yeah. associations almost. Yeah. Which is a whole other thing because I think we could probably make a whole episode on it. But finding your identity outside of old friendships. Yeah. Big thing. And not falling back into old habits because you fall back into old friendships. Yeah. Which is like, again, a whole thing that I could talk forever and ever about. Yeah. But honestly, to all of the people that watch, even if it's just three, four or five of you, whatever it may be, sincerely and genuinely thank you for your views, your likes, your comments our friends messages on, on Discord, on our DMs, everything, you know. Thanks for listening to us. Thanks for hanging on for another year because I know last year was a lot more successful in terms of, I mean, successful, quote unquote, in terms of the episodes that we put out yeah. and everything like this. And this year was a little more just messy. Find time where we can. Take yeah, time. life happens. And I know we say that often in many updates, but it really happened this year. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, better late than never with having to realize all these things, right? But such is life. And we just, we grow and we move on and we try to find happiness in the little things. Mm -hmm. It's us, we're the little things, we're, we are. Because of the people we are, we actually didn't film an actual outro for this bit. So thank you once again for your support this year, even though it was such a scrappy little year for us. Here's to hoping that your holiday season is safe and warm and wonderful. If you're in a place that's too warm, hope it's cool. And we will definitely catch you guys in 2023. There's so much more to come from us and we hope to see you along next year. Cheers.